Part two in our surface area of composite solids video series. We have five total videos. Each video is going to have uh, two solids on it. Uh, this particular one we're going to start off here with finding the surface area of a cylinder with a cone on top. And remember, surface area is the amount of stuff that you can fit on the outside of this thing. All right, so some of these problems we're really going to have to think about are there any parts of these that might not be on the surface? For example, there's a circle that's on the top of the cylinder, or right? essentially the, the top lid of this cylinder is not on the surface. It's hiding. It's squished in between the cone and the cylinder. Similarly, the bottom of the cone, same deal. It's not on the surface. So we have to kind of keep that in mind as we go. Here we go, let's do surface area total is equal to the surface area of the cone plus the cylinder. <coughs> surface area of a cone is pi r squared plus pi r l, l meaning slant height. Cylinder is two circles plus the part that wraps around the lateral surface area. All right, so let's think about what we need to delete. For the cone, again, we're getting rid of the base that it sits on. The base that it sits on is a circle. This is a circle, cancel it out. Cylinder, we're gonna definitely account for the bottom circle, but we don't wanna account for the top one. So there are two circles here. Let's get rid of one of them by just getting rid of the coefficient. So our new formula is pi rl plus pi r squared plus 2 pi rh. Cool. The lateral surface area, the L, goes down this right here. That's your L. Right now we don't know that, so we need to find that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract or pull out a right triangle a right triangle will help me hopefully find the slant height. Let's see if we can find this. We've got three and down here is the radius. That's not 7.2 but it's half of that, 3.6. So let's find slant height using Pythagorean theorem. So we go three squared plus 3.6 squared equals L squared. And you multiply all that out, hit the square root, and you get yourself an answer. Let's see, that is going to be 4.686. That's your slant height. That'll go right here. So it's pi. We already said the radius is 3.6 times 4.686 and let's finish the rest pi r squared is pi times 3.6 squared plus 2 times pi times 3.6 times the height this height of course is not the height of the cone but it's the height of the cylinder which is 19 so your total surface area is equal to if you type all that into your calculator, 523.484 square feet. Number two. Number two is the same type of composite solid. It's a combination of a cylinder and a cone. So let's rewrite that whole thing. It's pi r squared plus pi r l plus 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h and we'll get rid of the bottom of the cone and one of the circles in the cylinder. So we have just like in the previous example surface area of, of the entire composite is this formula. First thing we want to do, of course, is find our slant height. Your slant height goes down the edge here. 
the diagonal edge. And to find that, we're going to set up our right triangle. So your right triangle goes from here to here, and that'll find us L. Uh, the H, well, first of all, the radius, the radius is 4. It's half of 8. The whole diameter is 8. 4 is the radius. And the height of this guy is 7. I got that from taking the whole height, 26, minus 19. So that goes in our Pythagorean theorem. 7 squared plus 4 squared equals L squared. And you get about 8.062 for your slant height. So that goes into your formula. Radius is 4. Height, of course, is the height of the cylinder only, which is 19. So type that all into your calculator. You get your total surface area to be 629.101. So that was video number two in our surface area of composite solid series. I'll do three more. Each one will have two examples in it. And as I mentioned a couple times before, surface area of composite solids is way more challenging than volume because you have to think about stuff to delete and sometimes we'll have to think about stuff to add.